Finally tonight, what seemed to be a Christmas miracle for a little girl who thought she'd lost her little best friend forever. Here's ABC's Ron Claiborne. This is a story about a little girl named Mia, a little dog named Marley, and a real-life Grinch? Somebody swiped a seven-year-old girl's dog. It was the morning before Christmas, and it was all captured on surveillance video, right outside the store where Mia and her mom were shopping. We didn't know if we would ever see him. Mia was devastated. He's so adorable that I can't even trim my tree without him. It's like so hard to be without him. Miles away on Christmas Day, a school teacher named Tina Cohen was walking through a park and noticed a man selling a dog. They didn't look right together. It wasn't right to be selling a dog on Christmas and I had a gut feeling this is not his dog. So she bought the dog for $220 and took him straight to a vet who checked him out and found his identification microchip. We got a phone call and he said, he said, we have your dog. We have Marley. And we screamed up and down that we have Marley. Yeah, what were you thinking then? We were jumping up and down. <laughs> you were jumping just like that, huh? <laughs> Two hours later, little girl and little dog reunited. Think it's a miracle? Yeah, a Christmas miracle. As for the alleged Grinch, police arrested Brandon Bacon in the park where he allegedly sold Marley. While the little girl, her mom, her little dog, and the nice lady who saved him, they all had a very Merry Christmas. Ron Claiborne, ABC News, New York.